All right, guys, today we're going to take a trip to Paris, or Paris is going to take a trip to come see us. No. Anyway, so, so today what we're going to talk about is one of the Leibach and York frames. This time over to the ladies. Yeah, I don't think this one's a unisex frame. I can't, in my head, pull it off. Maybe you might disagree in just a second. We'll see. So today, Amsterdam, of course, is a little bit more masculine, still a fairly unisex frame, but a nice statement piece. Today, it's a little sister. I'm going there. It's a much more feminine frame because it has that classic butterfly slash cat eye shape. It's very, very nicely done. You've got that little flare at the top corner, but not way over the top. Soft shape throughout the bottom, nice little dip at the brow. And I mean, come on, if it looks this good on me, how's it gonna look good? How's it gonna look? on the person with the right face for it, because I certainly don't know. I have worn a few cat eyes over the years, but <laughs> a little bit different situation with those frames. This one definitely has that feminine pull with that nice drop down shape over here and still slightly uplifting. Typically, I'll call one like this more of a butterfly than a cat eye, just because you do have a nice even point here. You know, it's not extremely flared up or, really wide at the bottom and if I can find one here handy there we go I've always got a cat eye handy right so the cat eye shape the more traditional cat eye you have you'll notice tapers in more at the bottom has that really big flare at the top so this is something that's meant to be more worn a little bit more often but still a really nice statement piece now some of the other colors show it off a little bit better as far as how bold and fun this frame can be but this one is just a nice classy easy everyday wear with kind of that teal gradient to clear at the bottom the nice touch on this particular colorway that i really like though is it actually has a coral backing that unless you're looking at it from the right angle totally disappears so that's always love those double laminates. You get a nice little different effect to that, and it is nice and classy. Now, as with all the Leibach and York frames, always gonna have a nice ergonomic balance to it. It's gonna be cut to maintain that wrap, and, of course, that bridge is not just straight cut. It actually has a nice bevel to it, so it follows the contour of the nose rather than being just flat and digging a little bit more at the front of the back. Most frames you can tweak that a little bit on. This one though, you don't need to. It's already made that way. And of course, as with all of their statement frames, you've got that very nice five barrel hinge. And of course, their traditional temple core all the way to the back, solid steel and very nice polish from end to end, which is pretty signature for all of the Leibach frames. I have yet to get my hands on one that I wasn't impressed with the polish and the finish on it. Weight-wise, this one drops in right at 25 grams. Not super heavy, not super light, but balances really well on the face. So thankfully, because of the ergonomic balance, the way they build these frames, even when you have a little bit more heft in the prescription, it's still gonna balance on the face really well, not putting more pressure on the front or the back. And that is kind of key in fit. So that's one of the reasons I keep talking about these frames so much. We're gonna go through and go over all the different shapes. They've got a new one. We'll get into it another time, but it's called Ottawa. So it is an even more bold feminine shape. So yeah. We'll get into that one. The triple laminates are coming, I promise. That is it for the statement ones. As far as the more bold statement, still, yeah. There's still the triple laminates. Those make a statement all their own, but that will be coming at another time. For now, that's all I've got on Paris. Now, you guys like these? Follow along, subscribe. We'll keep doing more videos like this. We'll keep the technical stuff to the first of the week. The tail end, we do a video review of some of the frames around the shop. Or if there's a particular video frame review you would like to see, let me know. I'll see if I can get my hands on it, even for a day or two, just long enough to record one of these. Otherwise, you guys take care. I will catch you next time.